Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. On the return, the Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Jones, first carry for the USC man. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That good for 22 and a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Go, 66. Brady with a quick throw here to Evans out wide. Brady a gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, you've got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Brady gives this one off to Jones. Switch! He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A game there of 30 big ones. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs, you're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet, running plays that are working, and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to it. In a big way, and they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better? And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And the Bucs take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. For the point after. Well, that's how they envision to get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. His kick is was it no an good. Audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? Bradley no matter Kenyon, what, they had the right call on Tampa against Bay. the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. 20 yard line. Coming out with a jumbo package to start check the drive. Check Mike, check Mike. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The, the drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for the running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Murray to give. This is Drake. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He's got right, man, I know we're early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense to unfold. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. First down, Arizona. 
They find some open field here. Touchdown, Cardinals. Chase Edmonds, the ball Chase carrier. Chase Edmonds. Touchdown, 41 Arizona. yards. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from grabbing the lead. But earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all the week, Cardinals yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. 45 the mic. 45 the mic. Let's go, D. Big series right here. So we got to step it up. They'll try and run with Drake. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Buccaneers, six. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bucks take over first and ten at their own 25 yards. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. 36, 36. Watch out, watch out. Hey, 66. They'll start the drive with a carry with Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two Ronald out Jones, to the 27. The a minimal gain as we tip down inside of a minute line. remaining in the opening quarter. On the pickup. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it with Jones. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Check, 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 check. Shift, shift. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Sugar, sugar. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on the final play of this first quarter. 8-6 the score after one. With the score, Cardinals 8, Buccaneers 6. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. But well, what do you think? You get the ball at the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play. You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hand. Meaning, if it's not there, he will force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Second and three at the Bucks' 35-yard line. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Now Drake, and he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. First down, Arizona. Running, it's Drake. And all the way down inside the five to the four. on the carry. Another nice gain, 16 yards the there, and a first down again. First I'm not sure how much more the evidence they need, line. partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long <laughs> afternoon here at the stadium because he's just shredding them at this point. As it comes into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. Again, the this is going to take area. an 11-man unit the on the defensive line. side to it's start making plays. Brings up second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Hey, watch that, watch that. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. The ball no gain on the play second as we down. have reached the, the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at the 45. They'll run on first down. Jones. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. First I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then he had a halfback. He had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are going to run. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with him. The tight end, Max Williams, the intent receiver but it's going to be second down they'll run with drake and this will be stopped at the 44 that one good for seven yards the tackle made the cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts seven yard gain on the the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half Murray going to try to throw on third down. And he finds Daniels. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for you. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist, 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 twist. He's coming. Regular, regular. Jones. And he's got room. And now to the races down the right side and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half the prayer is answered how did they get that done 
And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? And now this will be the final play of the half, as with no time remaining, they'll try and add two more to the lead right before intermission. Watch twist. Watch twist. Check three. Check three. Check three. Take it. And he will get into the end zone. So a perfect finish to the half. They get the touchdown on the final play. And two more for good measure. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see the alters, what they decide to do in play Can call. Break do they the continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more down, on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play four. calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, or if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try to take the pressure off and run the ball. Throwing complete there to Hopkins. Murray's and this will pass. leave him a yard oh, short. To nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nine. Brings up was that a design Murray. pass or At what was that? It was built line. into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver Can on the run. Break the ball and he'll get it out a couple yards shy Tackle of midfield at the 48. Second and one, and people yards. want to run the football. And this the is where every back in the league down. is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. And he's able to get across midfield and down Great into Buccaneer territory. The tackle Give him five the on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That was a really five. nice job Brings by them picking up the run five. blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to... And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. William Goldston in there to get him. It's a loss of five. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Murray going to throw. And it's complete. It's the tight end Daniels. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Cardinals. On the give, this is Drake. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there, just like last play. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just the series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive Break side of the ball? The ball Sometimes they're just not he there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. The last run you. got a couple. Bring Here's second and eight. Andy. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third Carlton time. Davis. The Carlton Davis picks it. So it was a drive that had real promise.